I don't know that anybody else could have modeled those dinosaurs. I don't know that anybody else could have set the standards for animating them. I don't know that we would have even tried. Here's somebody that was fundamental at that time in the progress of this disruptive technology. Steve Williams, otherwise known as Spaz Williams, worked in a tiny windowless room that was called The Pit. Lucasfilm's Industrial Light and Magic. This was where Spaz and his cohorts created breakthrough animation. He happened to be the right guy at the right time, at the right place. Before Steve, this stuff couldn't have been done. It was not biotechnology that brought the dinosaurs to life in Jurassic Park. Animator Steve Williams used a computer to bring the T-Rex to life. For almost 75 years, the technology and the techniques were pretty much the same. Three key projects ultimately had the greatest impact. The Abyss, Terminator 2, Jurassic Park. If you want to stay in the industry, you got to play the game. Steve didn't play that game. The parties, far out of control. I was suspended twice. <laughs> he was a rebel. Steve said, why don't we just build all the dinosaurs in computer graphics? He knew the time was right. And I think other people was like, whoa, no, we're not going into this whole new realm. I just believed we could do it. But actually having to prove it, that was the challenge. There's a lot of people pissed off at me because of my arrogance. I shot my mouth off a lot. This is unfortunately what's happening. I'm not political. I'm not political. I've, I've never been political, right? I'm not good at it.